The quintessence of all things on earth has fostered its resplendence and magnificence, and the best in craft has contributed to its heavenly beauty. It is the masterpiece of Chinese brocade art and the living fossil of ancient Chinese brocade. It is none other than Nanjing Yunjin brocade, as beautiful as the morning clouds. The time-honored Qinhuai River has nurtured the ancient civilization of Nanjing and cultivated Yunjin brocade, an exotic flower in the garden of art. When the production of Yunjin brocade was at its highest point, almost every household near the Qinhuai River wove brocade, and the sounds of looms could be heard day and night. Even today, Nanjing has many beautiful legends related to Yunjin brocade. This is Cloud-Like Brocade, a new play being rehearsed by the Nanjing Yueju Opera Troupe. It tells a sad and moving love story related to Yunjin Brocade. Aixia is a pretty girl. One day, she happened upon a prince. Both the prince and Cai Xia were fond of Yunjin Brocade. They fell in love because of Yunjin Brocade. The beautiful sets and graceful melodies take us to Nanjing, an ancient city in China known for its textile industry. In ancient China, Nanjing served as the capital for 10 different dynasties with a history of 2,500 years. Walking in the city, people feel as if they have traveled back in time. The variegated city walls once surrounded the ambitions of many emperors in ruling the country, and the desolate and solemn ruins of the former imperial palace witnessed the glories and wealth that have vanished like smoke. Through Yunjin brocade, we can dimly see the prosperity and splendor of the past. With a time-honored history and vast in variety, Yunjin brocade is a high-grade silk fabric. Of all the brocade produced in China, Yunjin brocade ranks first in quality. This is a representative Yunjin brocade pattern. The two fishes stand for auspicious happiness in superabundance. The Buddha hand fruit for good fortune, the peach for longevity, and the pomegranate for many suns. All of them express people's wishes. In addition, various Yunjin brocade patterns implying power are the signs that differentiate official grades and ranks. The dragon design was exclusively used by the emperor.
Lying at the foot of Zhongshan Mountain in Nanjing, the Xiaoling Mausoleum has a beautiful environment. After the trials and tribulations of the past 600 years, the mausoleum is still quiet, solemn, and magnificent today. It is the tomb of Zhu Yuanzhang, founder of the Ming Dynasty, 1368 to 1644. The Ming Dynasty was characterized by advanced science, technology, and culture. In 1368, Zhu Yuanzhang made Nanjing the capital of China. From that time on, the silk weaving industry in China moved southward, greatly promoting the development of Nanjing Yunjin Brocade. Later, Yunjin Brocade was gradually monopolized by the imperial family and bore the deep imprint of imperial signet. This Yunjin brocade robe was worn by a Ming Dynasty emperor at important ceremonies. This robe is covered with patterns symbolizing imperial power and virtue. The most eye-catching patterns are the eight dragons of different shapes and postures. In ancient China, the number nine was seen as the largest number. The emperor considered himself a dragon from heaven. When the emperor wore this ceremonial robe with eight dragons, counting himself, there were nine dragons, symbolizing his supreme position and power. However, what kind of thread was used to weave such a colorful robe? A large amount of silk used for Yunjin brocade is processed using natural silk produced in the areas surrounding Nanjing. With a warm and moist climate, Nanjing has been home to the most advanced silkworm technology since ancient times. The natural silk produced in Nanjing glitters, and silk threads made of such natural silk are natural and bright in color. However, beautiful Yunjin brocade cannot be woven using high-quality natural silk alone. What unusual materials were used for Yunjin brocade? The prince invited Cai Xia to his peacock garden. Cai Xia was clever and deft. Upon seeing the colorful nature of peacock feathers, Cai Xia suddenly hit upon an idea and decided to weave peacock feathers into Yunjin brocade. Factually speaking, no one knows who took the lead in weaving peacock feathers into Yunjin brocade. Today, Yunjin brocade is still woven by hand. Craftspeople attach peacock feathers to core threads and twist them into a thread. After being twisted, the green down on the peacock feathers creates a spiral. Yunjin brocade woven in this way has a base relief decorative effect. Moreover, when people appreciate Yunjin brocade from different angles, the peacock feathers give off different colors, such as purple, blue, green, or gold. The changing colors make viewers gasp in admiration. Despite the fact that the Yunjin brocade woven by Cai Xiao was incomparable, the Empress raised another difficult problem for the girl. The dragon robe was to look splendid in green and gold. How could Cai Xiao weave gold into the dragon robe? Cai Xiao decided to see an aged man named Gold Hammer. He was able to twist gold into gold threads.
gold hammer's craft has been handed down until today. But making gold thread is still strictly done by hand. First, workers cut gold leaf into small pieces and then cover the gold leaf with specially made wujin paper. Two workers sit face to face on stone blocks to beat the wujin paper using hammers, each weighing 3.5 kilograms. They keep beating the wujin paper hundreds of thousands of times to make gold foil, which is as thin as gossamer. Then workers cut the gold foil into thread-like pieces and twist them into thread. This is the reproduction of dragon robe materials excavated from the underground palace of the Dingling Mausoleum in Beijing. The dragon body woven with two different colors of gold thread shows a three-dimensional relief effect. The fact that silver thread will change color after being oxidized was cleverly used to create a natural black outline. This unique design makes the golden dragons on the robe a vivid portrait. The color will never fade. Emperor Wan Li, 1573 to 1620 of the Ming Dynasty, was the owner of this brocade. Of all the emperors in the Ming Dynasty, he reigned for the longest time. Emperor Wan Li liked beautiful Yunjin brocade very much, so he selected 69 bolts of the best Yunjin brocade as funereal objects creating the reappearance of Yinjin Brocade after several hundred years during excavation of the underground palace. This Zhuanghua silk fabric for the creation of a dragon robe is an outstanding example. It is about 17 meters long and consists of about 18,000 warps and 120,000 wefts. The Zhuanghua part consists of patterns meticulously woven using multicolor thread, gold thread, and peacock feather thread. It is incredible that the clouds on the deep red silk were woven according to the feel of the weaver's hand. The weaver pulled threads tightly to create the beautiful pattern, and held threads loosely to create the spatial effect, creating hidden patterns. However, the delicate and soft materials were only samples for selection. The dragon that symbolized the emperor was not allowed to be cut. Only the unique craft of Yunjin brocade, having the robe made to fit the figure, could meet the harsh requirements of the imperial family. The collar, sleeves, and front and back of the dragon robe were precisely designed and woven on a piece of brocade according to the emperor's size. After a bolt of Yinjin brocade was woven, a tailor needed only to cut the woven parts and sew them together to make the robe. If the woven parts could not fit perfectly together, or if there was a slight deviation in the dragon's head, the weaver would be executed.
This is huaben, a weaving procedure using silk and cotton thread according to an ancient method of keeping records by tying knots. Huaben is a bridge between drawing and woven brocade. These are the designers of the Nanjing Yunjin Brocade Institute. They are responsible for drawing the patterns on a special kind of paper, equivalent to the programs designed for computers. The installer of the design records the pattern information on the framework with cotton threads. According to the rules for changes, the installer merges the same color items and creates the program language. The ropes recording the pattern information are huaben. The larger and more complicated a design pattern is, the longer the huaben will be. Huaben can be up to 100 meters long. Under the guidance of this kind of weaving process, the beautiful pattern will be precisely woven for a dragon rope with gold and multicolored threads. How do the craftspeople weave yunjin brocade according to huaben? One day, the prince sneaked out of the palace to see Cai Xia. The girl knew well that it was the last chance she would have to meet the prince. She had promised the empress to leave the prince after finishing weaving the dragon robe. Her heart was filled with emotion. At this moment, she most wanted to weave a piece of yunjin brocade on this hualo loom together with the prince. Such a large loom, the one used in the play, was not just made up. China has a long history of using looms, and there are a wide variety of looms. Of these, the Da Hua Lo loom for weaving Yunjin brocade is the largest. What is the reason? The Da Hualo loom is 5.6 meters long and 4 meters high. The weaving work is done by two weavers in harmony. They can be two brothers, a husband and wife, or a master and apprentice. But good cooperation between the two weavers must be guaranteed. The person sitting at the loom is known as the thread puller. All he or she has to do is pull the threads according to the Huaben instructions. <laughs> 
person sitting on the lower part of the loom is called the weaver. He or she creates the pattern and weaves the materials into brocade using gold or multicolored threads. The main characteristic of Yunjin brocade is that colors are changed at will on the same weft, and the weaver can mix colors in the right proportion at will. On Zhuanghua silk fabric, the pattern can be used repeatedly, but the colors must be different. This unique art can only be accomplished by hand today. Weaving gold threads into brocade can only be done by hand. It is difficult to control the gold and silver threads that are hidden in the pattern knife. The weaver lifts the gold and silver threads for entry for the warps, pulling them out one by one, and weaves them into the brocade. Nanjing Yunjin brocade woven with gold and silver thread is resplendent and magnificent. Use of a large amount of gold and silver threads and several dozen kinds of supplementary colors make the sharply contrasting colors of Yunjin brocade look harmonious and unified. Yunjin brocade is delicate, noble, and exquisite because of its beautiful colors, fine and smooth lines, a well-conceived layout, and high-quality materials. Weaving-related crafts are exceedingly complicated, and it takes quite a long time for craftspeople to finish weaving one piece of brocade. If a person wants to weave a piece of 78 centimeter wide brocade, this requires 14,000 silk threads, and all the flowers and other parts of the pattern are woven using these 14,000 silk threads. Two skillful craftspeople can only weave five to six centimeters of brocade each day. Even today, the weaving technology of Yunjin brocade still relies on the Dahua Lo loom the largest wooden loom in the history of manually created textiles in the world. And no modern machine can replace this ancient loom. The gorgeous dragon robe was woven, and all the people gasped in admiration at its magnificence. However, Cai Xia, the weaver of this dragon robe, left silently. Upon hearing the news, the prince was deeply grieved. In ancient China, there were many highly skilled craftspeople like Cai Xia. Thanks to their efforts, this extraordinary weaving technique has been handed down generation after generation. Today, at the Nanjing Yunjin Brocade Institute, we can still find some skillful craftspeople. It is because of their consummate skills that Nanjing Yunjin Brocade is still full of life and vitality, and that we can appreciate beautiful and delicate Yunjin brocade today.
In the eyes of modern people, the auspicious design patterns and luxurious materials of Yunjin brocade and the weaver's unusual but wonderful ideas from ancient times are mysterious and original. Beautiful and delicate, Yunjin brocade was loved by the people. The emperor was very glad and gave the brocade to all his guests as gifts. The high-ranking officials and members of the imperial family who once owned Yunjin Brocade have become a historical memory. However, Yunjin Brocade is still as splendid as moving clouds. It is a marvel to see. Wearing a dress made of Yunjin brocade for their wedding has become the dream of many young people. Though Yunjin brocade is no longer exclusively used by the imperial family, its gorgeous and noble quality has not been reduced in the slightest. Nanjing Yunjin Brocade, a living fossil that is still breathing, has become a part of the common cultural heritage of mankind today after experiencing ups and downs over the past 1,000 years. <laughs>